Uh, let's look really quickly for the things that were announced. So, they're buffing Ozumat. They're bringing back the end of turn effects tier twice. Interesting. They're nerfing this, which is justifiable. Also, they're nerfing Gulakabra, Cultist, Murky, Nightbane, Azerite, Shelemental, and in duos, the passing card. I mean, all these cards are really good. Maybe not Shelemental, but... Um, Elemental is abusable in some compositions still. I would say good changes. They're nerfing Maev, Serfinli, and then two of the duo heroes, Floop and the uh, Nameless One. And they're buffing Eudora, Kyriel, Brukanja, Raxus, the Jailer, Jandis, Tavish, Keltas, George, Rag, and Katun. It's good changes, but they should have done them like two weeks ago, I think. I mean, the new season is coming soon. And somebody linked this, somebody linked me this. Apparently they announced some more of the cards. Lesser trinkets. So these are potentially offered on six when you have eight gold. Get a light fang. Your light fang enforcers have all minion types. Wow. So you get a light fang and your light fang has all types. Wow. That's a crazy one. This one we saw in the preview. Discover a tavern spell and then discover another tavern spell each turn. So basically silly vase. Crazy. I have a feeling trinkets are going to be very fun. Some of the effects are already very interesting. Start of every two turns, discover a tier six. Wow. Okay. When you buy a greater trinket, this transforms into a copy of it. Wow. So basically you have no effect for three turns, but then you have double the effect of the Greater Trinket. That's insane. Seems very greedy. The Tavern no longer offers cards from Tier 1 or 2. Huh. I wonder if that's good. Get a random Naga, I start of each turn get another. Increase your maximum gold by 1. At the end of each turn. So this is kind of like uh, playing an oil every single turn. Crazy. The tavern offers an extra minion from a higher tavern when refreshed. Okay. Higher means you can get a 6 drop or 1 higher. I guess we'll see. I assume 1 higher. Imagine if you roll on tavern 3 and you get 6 drops. Whenever a friendly minion with no types dies, get a random tavern spell. Huh. Okay. Pretty good. In 2 turns, choose a greater trinket to buy and replace this. So you get... This is kind of like souvenir stand. But you get it one turn earlier, but you have to pay for it. Mm. I think I prefer the souvenir stand then. Transform a minion into one from a tier higher. And it's a spellcraft. So I assume you get it every single turn. At the end of every three turns, get the goldenizer. And it's free. Interesting. Do you also get one in uh, immediately? And there's more trinkets. These are just some of them. Get a random tier 7 minion, and then get one per turn. Summon a copy of each of your minions. Huh, that's funny. I mean, these are just some of them, they're pretty crazy. Let's talk about the new cards. So, new neutral cards for Season 8. Whenever you play a card, give friendly minions of its tier or lower plus one plus one. So that's like a new menagerie card. I kind of like it. Okay, Sunscreener is start of combat, give you and your opponent's free most minions divine shield. So wait, start of combat, give you and your opponent's free left minions divine shield. I don't know if this is good. Seems risky. Discover a golden tier free minion to transform into. Yeah, why would I want to give my opponent divine shield? Discover a golden tier free minion to transform into. I guess it could work. You also get a discover into a six, right? Oh no, you transform into a golden without getting the discovery. So it's not like, it's not really that good. Give your minions from tier three or lower plus two plus one. Get a plain copy of a random minion from your last opponent's warband. Okay. It's random, right? Choose a minion, transform into a random minion of a higher tier. It keeps its stats. Pretty good one. I kind of like this one as a spell. Start of your turn, if these minions survive last combat, remove this and get a triple reward. Wow! 
Oh, that's a very interesting card. For example, if you're fighting against somebody who leveled, you can definitely go for that and like try to get a try to get a powerful play. Interesting. And the triple reward means like one tavern above. So like if you're tavern free, you get the four drop. Ghost abusing card. It's gonna be a fun one. This one is also pretty good from tier three or lower. Like this can buff your board a lot. This can also buff your board a lot. Greyman's champion is going and so is Moon Eater. So I guess one amalgam tour group is gonna be like the new way to buff your stuff. I will miss Triant. No more zaps in the right dancer. We're getting interrogator white main. Start of combat, give an enemy minion from tier 5 or higher taunt. It takes double damage this combat. I like it. End of your turn, give 3-3. Free free. Wow, so this actually makes the Lightfang spell even better. Wow, it's gonna be super crazy. Phalanx is coming back, and it's a 4-drop. Give a friendly minion of each type plus 2 plus 1 permanently. Wow. Wow, Menagerie is popping, boys. Isn't that too good? It feels like it's too good. Deadly Spore? Interesting. Choose a friendly minion. It consumes three random minions in the tavern. For four gold, it's kind of expensive. And staying cards are those. Interesting. I like it. I like the minion pool so far. But again, I will do a full review of the minion pool once we get there. I think it's going to be like a more proper way to do it. To first see all the cards, all the changes, and do like a big video at once. Maybe I'll review it on stream and my editor can like clip that part. We'll see. Seven opponents stand between you and the prize you seek. Not sure if I should buy Swarm Striker coin on tool and then level and utilize the coin. Or like, what's the best way to do things? Against the dark. I do not envy your fate. Next time leveling. Not sure if I should level and take a free drop. It depends on what the shop looks like. I want to see the shop first. Let us bring this to an end. <sighs> it's also a lobby with demons and murlocs. Next time, leave nothing to chance. <clears throat> okay, trades are good. Next time, leave nothing to chance. Winter Finner and Tad. This looks good. Next time we level up. Okay. Uh, let's take a four job for Temple. Flawlessly executed. Okay. I can freeze the careful investment. Do you ever sell Tad before you level for tripling odds? No. I want to sell it on free to get free drops. I'm, I was okay uh, tripling the Swamp Striker manually. And I don't want to use the Tad for that. Why freeze? I'm freezing for the careful investment. Seize your destiny. Good 
Do you ever buy the other sky fin? You are mighty as the black no. I'll just go careful investment, and the next time I'll try to level up triple into a six. I will restore honor to the black dragon flight. <clears throat> Okay. Small loss. It's okay. Body goes to zero. Next time, leave nothing to chance. Yeah, I really want to tempest. Morkai. Bahum Baba, thank you for the 27 months. I appreciate it. Should have positioned better. Wow. No one disturbs my home. I like that and freeze. I hope we're always on the same side. Okay, I want to triple the lookout. That one hits heavy. Murky Murkai. Well, we got the comp out of nowhere. Second mark, I sweet. Where are you going on vacation? I'm just going uh, for the weekend to the Romanian seaside. Nothing too crazy. Just locally, just to relax my brains a bit for the new season. It's more like an extended weekend than a vacation. No plane flights, just something chill. Soldiers for gold. Skyfin had to be sacrificed. You have amassed a great force. Soldiers for gold. How barbaric. Yeah, better on lookout, right? Because you want to get second murky. You want to get triples and like you want to get to second murky, you want to get to Bran. Not sure what to do with the Coral. The Coral is huge right now. 
We want to get some trips. This is looking really good. You are mighty as the black dragon flight. Coral doesn't produce anything right now. I think he's the cut. He's the immediate cut. This will be good. Second Marky, good. Choose your fighter. Choose your fighter. Your fighter. I want to eat the primal thing. I think that's going to be the play. See, it's your <laughs> destiny. Okay. This guy is having the same comp as me. I wish I could uh, little him now. Damage cap is going to save his ass. I feel like cultist and atrocity are gonna create some problems for us. That was a wreck. Hire <laughs> one of these fine recruits. Good. You need more minions. Oh, cut the murky. A triple. Enjoy your reward. What a the boo do. I do. What a the boo do. I do. The light has left this place. I don't care about tripling it. The brim, that is. Hello, Mr. Dim. I just wanted to confirm your reservation for the anger management retreat you booked for this weekend. We are excited to have you. Um, I think you confused me. I'm the calmest uh, streamer on Twitch. I don't need any anger management retreats. Another vacation? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't even call it a vacation, mate. First of all, I didn't take any vacation this summer. I just took two days off instead of one day off last week. And now I'm taking three days off. That's it. Like, if you count my days off, it's probably less than uh, the weekends. I'm trying my best to stream, but you need to understand that I'm doing the best streams I can, six days per week, by also taking some time off and um, relaxing a bit in between. I feel like when I take no time off, I become grumpy. I'm like, easy to trigger. I don't want to be like that. I want to be zen. I want to just enjoy playing a video game. Trust me, I'll take no time off if I could. But I'm a human. I need a break once in a while. Welcome back. We have much to talk about. Oh, <laughs> this will be good. And yeah, I know I'm calling it a vacation myself in the title. But this doesn't mean that people should come here and go like, Oh, another vacation! Like somebody watching for the first time might actually think that... Uh, I barely stream. I'm not a slacker, okay? Huh. Here 
vision. Lookout is getting too big and we should cut it at some point. Luka team. What is your opinion on JG switching to TFT? I think he just doesn't like the meta and tonight we're getting a patch so he's probably gonna come back tomorrow. Especially since I'm going away for three days. He needs to cover my shift. It's the best opportunity to like uh, get custom himself to the meta game. Bro is huge. And the problem is that a properly executed Titus garbage shenanigans board like he's doing here is like really good against me. I might not have enough stats to outstat him. Losing this one. Until we meet again. I don't want to triple some trash. I think we just cut Primal Fin and play Bran and cash out on all the stats. Crazy to cut these many cards from the hand. And crazy to cut a 200 to 100, but what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Bran is literally like another Golden Rakari. It literally doubles it. Why did we skip the turtle? Didn't have money to buy it. And I didn't have the Bran in the shop, so I wasn't sure that I want to make the cuts that I ended up making at the end. Black dragons frequently disguise themselves to tamper with mortal affairs. <clears throat> you are mighty as the black dragon flight. Choose your fighter. That one hits heavy. This looks good. Hmm. Let's hope on aggressively. It's interesting how everything fell in our lap. Like I tripled the um, elemental guy, which gave me money, which also gave me more Kai. Murka gave me more money. I could level. And then uh, we started discovering other Murlocs. Got Rakari. The rest is history. I had to make some big sacrifices like cutting some 200-200s. I trust your discretion out there. Okay.
Oh, <sighs> okay. I'm growing every fight, though. We have much to talk about. Probably by more than he's growing. But wouldn't Bramble witching his ass just end it? I think it does. I think it does end it. Brown out. We're still growing enough. Is the no Branner play? I am one with the thorns. Let's roll for triple mark. I don't want to eat anything. <clears throat> yeah, probably should end it because it just renders his uh, cultist useless. He only has demons taunted. He's gone for multiple demons. And then he's gonna have like one big minion and the rest is gonna be a joke. Hopefully he cannot counter this. Imagine losing to one Bramble Witch. That would be catastrophical. I mean, I think his best shot was beating us here on the 21 percenter. So yeah. Any upcoming merch planned? Uh, nothing on merch. And I'm also delaying my Sabaton. I want to do some events in the next season. And I'll try to make them interesting though. So it's not just stream, stream, streams, but basically what I want is I want to be as consistent as I can possibly be with my streams. I want to be like peak consistency. And other than that, maybe some cool events. And that's it. No merch, no Sabaton, nothing else planned for the rest of the year. Just good consistent streams. Nice. And some uh, special events. Woo! Good win. Good win.